two things we must admit here that uh, our electoral commission can, uh, is always very technically prepared to carry out elections. Actually, we conduct better elections than in America and the UK. If you look at what we have done for the last uh, three or, or so elections, mm -hmm. we are incrementally changing and actually adding value to the way elections are conducted. And in Africa, I think we are doing well. But the only problem with our IEBC is that it is never politically prepared. It's never politically prepared, but it's usually technically prepared. It's not politically prepared because of the manner in which we appoint commissioners. And the trust in Kenyans always varies uh, from one region to another, the trust and confidence they have in elections. Uh, a while back, if Western, if uh, 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 Nyanza region would say IBC is not uh, uh, prepared, Central Kenya would be saying IBC is very well prepared, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we, we, if, we are even divided in how we see institutions mm -hmm. because of ethnicity. Uh, if Rift Valley says uh, today uh, that they are confident with IMBC, I'm telling you Nyanza will not be saying the same, right? Because of the divisions that we carry. And this is what cannibalizes, this is what weakens all our institutions of governance. Mm -hmm. Now I'm mentioning that simply because the manner in which we perceive institutions eventually leads to how politicians establish the same institutions after they keep them after every elections. All our constitutional commissions today are a mirror image of the 2013, 2016 constitutional commissions. What does that leave us with? We are left with only one conclusion, that governance is a very important feature of our society, and we need to be paying attention to governance, mm -hmm. that even if we did economic development in this country without sound governance framework, that economic development will come to falter. President Kebaki did not learn enough of that lesson mm -hmm. because he concentrated on economic performance, forgot about inclusive politics, and there we went to 2007 political crisis. At present, we see two competing messages. There is William Ruto, the deputy president, and the UDA mm -hmm. that are actually continuing with the same, same arguments that they had from 2013, emphasizing more than anything else on economic uh, performance and economic development, but we have not had them much talking about what is it that they are going to do on inclusive politics in this country. What do they do to ensure that if uh, you are from marginalized communities, minority communities, you are also part of Kenya? Mm -hmm. We have also and Raila now talking about the need uh, for, for improved governance, ethnicity. Actually, for the first time, I think uh, yesterday, they talked very much about they struggle with corruption, how to address the issues of corruption. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm mentioning this because we can see already some elements of, uh, of what could be dividing the way they, they, both of them see the country. Mm -hmm. One may be paying a lot of uh, attention to governance and one may be paying a lot of attention to economic performance. But is that the solution? Um, uh, my, my view is that all these are the issues that when you look at all Kenyans and today you look at all the surveys that have been conducted mm -hmm. on what are the key challenges facing the country today, all parts of the country cite almost these two things without exception. The cost of living is high and, others say corrupt, uh, and at the same corruption is mentioned as number two. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do they have solutions? Do all these coalitions have co solutions? The answer lies in how we see them crafting this agenda, mm -hmm. and who is next to each other. If you see someone talking about economic development and is surrounded by people with a, cor a corrupt tendency, mm -hmm. you can believe that actually even if they started economic development programs, those are for putting their hands into the tail. If you see, on the other hand, people talking about uh, so, uh, unity, diversity, without talking about much about uh, 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 um, uh, economic development, you know that there is going to be some kind of incoherence mm -hmm. in how they run their policies. Hmm.